The defensive 10 Henry does a great job to push onto the attacking inside centre Hill, stepping up as the first receiver. First ensuring that his inside defence is covering de Klerk, breaking and travelling from the base of the dead line-out catch and drive in an attempt to tie him in, allowing him to stay out, which initiates the domino drift defence. But his job was made a whole lot easier by McGinty's positioning being pretty tucked, presenting no real threat to the defensive line as a first receiver. The early push from Henry prevents the attack from immediately gaining the initial additional number that the playoff 12 provides, as they have been unable to eradicate the defensive 10 from contributing to the defence in the equation. A narrow unders and overs shape thus unfolds, with the defensive 12, Scott, defending the attacking 13, James, coming back against the grain on a narrow overs line, freeing up the lane for the defensive 13, Tauter, to move forward out of the line in an attempt to sack the attacking 10, McGinty, on the unders. Due to a lack of an additional shoulder ball option from the blind side wing, McGuigan, and with the open side defensive wing Van Vyck sensibly covering the long ball option to the attacking fullback Luke James, the final and only option left available is the double long kick pass ball over the top to yard that McGinty executes to perfection under considerable pressure from Tauter, who has broken the line. Alternatively, after the initial playoff 12 shape failed, if Sam James at 13, attacking on the overs line, stayed squarer for longer, attacking just to the inside shoulder of Tauter, not completely going back against the grain at Scott defending at 12, in a regular classic unders and overs shape, then McGinty would have even more opportunity to get the ball away, with less pressure ensuing from Tauter shooting out of the line, as his lane would no longer be completely free until Hill had released the pass. But nonetheless, Tauter doesn't recognise the picture in front of him early enough to be able to reach the unders running attacking 10 before he gets the kick away. Anyway, this example from Sale is yet another clear demonstration of the potency of the playoff 12, as even when it initially fails, with the attacking 12 not attacking his opposite man, not securing that first additional number for the attack, and then also no additional shoulder ball option from the blindside winger, there is still one final option left available. Albeit if this was ran inside the opposition 22, then the defensive fullback would have been in the line covering the double long ball. But being ran around halfway means that the double long ball option is still there, available, waiting for the kick pass. Just suggested for a moment he might come inside. And then the burst of acceleration. <laughs> 